Hi everybody, welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I'm Donnie Reed and today I've got something special for you. We have heard about it for over a year now. The technical details have dripped down to us like rainwater. We were told some things that seemed outrageous if not impossible. Does the new Daystate Delta Wolf really have a chronograph built into it? Does it really have a multi-function touchscreen display that you can use to adjust the very parameters of the firing cycle? Is it really a HUMA regulated electronically controlled, computer controlled hybrid of kind of like a Wolverine R and a Red Wolf. Oh, and with the best in its class electronic Red Wolf type trigger. The answer to all of these questions and more is yeah, yep, yes. Now guys, this is the video review of the new Daystate Delta Wolf on BakerAirGuns.com. In our blog section, you can also find the written review that accompanies this video. I'll also link this in the description of the video. And please like, subscribe, share, click that notification bell if you'd like to see more just like this. Now, don't hate me. But I get to play with most of the high-end air guns on the market. It's part of my job. And consequently, it takes a lot to get my motor running. The new Delta Wolf has my motor running in the red. Now, while there's a lot of different features that I look for in an air gun, in my own personal air guns, I want one thing accuracy the most accuracy i can buy i want to know that if i miss a shot it was me it wasn't my equipment not the gun the scope the ammunition the bipod anything about it i want to know it was me now repeatable accuracy is a function of consistency you cannot predict where your pellet is going to go if you don't have consistent velocities, if you're not consistently doing the same thing, consistently using the same ammunition, and so forth. Now, I would like it if my velocity was exactly the same every single time. I would like it if the trigger pull was exactly the same every single time. I would also like it if the wind would blow exactly the same every single time and that I would physically do everything exactly the same every single time. Now the last two you can't buy. You can't buy those last two. But apparently you can buy the first two and the Delta Wolf gives you both of them. Now do please keep in mind this video is an introduction to the Delta Wolf. This is a part one. I'm going to go over the basic features and whatnots of the gun, but we will dig more specifically into the gun, how to navigate the menu, how to adjust the parameters, what those parameters mean in you know, simple language, uh, and keep an eye out for that. Part two, if not three, will be coming in the future. The Delta Wolf is obviously a bullpup style PCP air rifle. It is sort of an AR-15-ish take on an air rifle. It uses an AR-15 style pistol grip and a little more. We'll get into that shortly. And as I said, it uses an electromechanical fire control system. Yes, it has a mechanical Huma regulator that can be adjusted mechanically. It also has a computer on board with sensors, a solenoid, uh, you know, ma uh, map manifold absolute pressure sensors, uh, capacitors, and so forth. And this is what Daystate calls AV technology advanced velocity technology all of this works together to give you 
what is now, this is, this Delta Wolf has claimed the title. This is now the single most consistent air gun I have ever fired. It has dethroned my Wolverine R as the most consistent air gun I have ever fired. Now that's not to say that the Wolverine R is bad. I get a single digit extreme spread out of that gun more often than not. But this gun, <laughs> well, just stay tuned for the report on the velocity. Now I played with two Delta Wolves to make this review, a 25 caliber and what you see here, the 30 caliber, which I'm hoping to own. But long story short, the computer comes with presets. There are factory settings and then there are advanced settings. The factory settings are usable, they'll get you shooting, but using those you are not wringing out all of the potential of the gun. Precision Air Gun Distribution, who is the importer of all day state products in the United States, has added some advanced presets for you. And the way they're designated is by caliber and pellet weight. For instance, this 30 caliber, I used their 3044 preset, which means 30 caliber, 44 grain pellets. And while they are better, they're better than the factory settings, I found that by experimenting with the advanced settings gave me what I was looking for. And what, what did I get? What did I get out of this gun? I used the advanced setting provided by Precision Air Gun Distribution called WARP, W-A-R-P, and that is to signify the most power you can get out of the gun. However, it presupposes 180 bar on the regulator. Now I wanted 905 feet per second average for the 44 grain pellets. I found that on the warp preset, with the regulator adjusted to 135 bar, I got my 905 foot per second average. And I got about 35 shots per string with a 7 foot per second extreme spread. That was the highest extreme spread that I got. I got a 7 a seven and a six. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. A, 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 we'll call it a seven foot per second extreme spread over the entire usable shot string. Now granted, that's not a lot of shots, but that's not what the warp setting was designed for. If I play with this some more, and I'm going to, uh, I'm pretty sure I can increase the shot count, keep the power, and keep the consistency. But I've only been playing with these for a few days, so I'm no expert yet in the programming of the entire system. This is just a fool bumbling around, and that's what I stumbled upon seven foot per second extreme spread. So now, how about that trigger? Well, like I said, this is not a trigger. That's not what that is, that's a switch. And it's a switch that's designed to look like and mimic a trigger. Out of the box, you will find it set to simulate a two-stage trigger. And it has a little bit less than a pound in pull weight. I'm getting about 15 ounce average out of either of the guns that I tested. And that's not bad. It's nice out of the box, easy first stage, solid wall, no creep in the second stage. You just add pressure and breaks like a glass rod. However, I like mine a little lighter, especially if I do acquire this gun, it's going to be my bench rest gun and I like a very light trigger on those. Fooling around for a few minutes gave me about a half pound trigger pull, eight, nine ounce average, and it's absolutely wonderful. I decreased a little on the first stage travel and adjusted the weight from there. Obviously, you can adjust this any way you want it. Heavier, lighter, shorter, single stage, two stage, whatever you like, you can adjust this trigger to achieve it. 
Now there are still some more noteworthy features of the Delta Wolf here. Not least of which is this safety, which I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see in the camera. When you take the weapon off safe, it activates the touch screen. Now that built-in chronograph I told you about, as long as you have it turned on in the menu, it will display your velocity on this pad. On this screen. Uh, this is also a touch screen that you use to navigate the menus, adjust things. We'll get more into that in the part two video of the Delta Wolf. Now the thing I like best about this safety is, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm working it from the other side. This is fully ambidextrous. This is a long lever on the left of the gun and a short lever on the right of the gun. Now you can swap that. It's very similar to an AR-15 safety. In fact, that's right where the safety should be on an AR-15. It's on the correct side for us righties. And like I said, it's ambidextrous. The whole gun is ambidextrous. This cheek piece can be moved to either side. The cocking lever can be moved to either side. The magazines can be loaded from either side. This is truly an ambidextrous rifle. So all you lefties out there, got one for you. Now, like I said, the magazine can be inserted from either side. What this also gives you is the ability to stack two magazines bottom to bottom. And since they'll go in from either side, you can push the one in from the one side, shoot those shots. When it is empty, push the one in from the other side, effectively doubling your shots. That is an awesome feature. So what else do we have here? We have five, count them, five Picatinny rails on the Delta Wolf. We have the bottom one to which I've attached this UTG TBNR bipod. We have one on each side for a light, a laser, grenade launcher, whatever you want. We have this one on the bottom of the buttstock for attaching some accessories we'll be seeing in the future, as well as one on top. Now this optics rail, if you loosen these screws, you can move this entire rail back and forth along this dovetail section on the top of the gun. Now this gives you an awesome fine adjustment for eye relief, as well as allowing you to use a zero eye relief scope as some prismatic scopes and night vision scopes sometimes are. It also allows you to extend it out if you like to cramp up on the gun, but the point is you can adjust this optics rail anywhere you want it on the top of this gun. The chronograph that I've mentioned a few times is actually housed here in the carbon fiber shroud. And this shroud terminates in an M20 by one threading. Uh, you can get Donnie FLs and other moderators, zero dB moderators in that size, but do be aware your half by 20 UNF moderators are not going to fit on this gun. So I know. I know. You want to know about the accuracy, don't you? Well, in a nutshell, <laughs> wow. Wow. Now I finally found an indoor range, an indoor 100 yard range that I'm allowed to make videos in. And while I'm still working out the details on how to set up cameras and what equipment to use to really make the most of this, for today, let's just keep in mind that I'm shooting indoors, 100 yards, no wind. And where I have found is the Midwest Shooting Center here in Lima, Ohio. Uh, it's nearby, about an hour away. Uh, some say Lima, Lima, whichever one. It's L-I-M-A, Ohio. If you're ever in the neighborhood, I highly suggest checking them out. There will also be a link to their website in the description of this video. 
and I want to thank them for allowing me to be a member and do some air gun shooting there. So anyway, me and a buddy of mine who is a fellow Marine and excellent shot, we went to the Midwest Shooting Center and shot some groups today. Now, I sighted this in quickly at 20 yards, and that's the only shooting I've done with it. I adjusted the trigger, got the, well, I did the whole velocity adjustment with no scope on the gun. So today was really the first time we ever shot the gun. If you combine the groups that we both shot, our average at 100 yards is about a half an MOA, about a half inch at 100 yards. Now I am going to show you a video clip, but this is a poor clip. I, I was not using the correct equipment. You're going to hear a lot of people talking in the background. There might be gunfire. I'm not sure. But have a look at this. It's just a quick clip of a three shot group that I shot right when we first arrived. It was the first group I shot. Have a look at this. Not bad, right? Now we went on and shot for a while and this next picture you'll see is just some of the groups uh, that we shot. Uh, I, I took the stickers off, put them on this piece of cardboard just to illustrate the kinds of groups we're getting with the Delta Wolf. And this is with a quick tune. This is with unsorted pellets. The first time we ever shot. I absolutely expect that with more time behind the gun, using sorted pellets and so forth, quarter inch groups are not going to be unheard of. This gun is supremely accurate. I can't state that enough. So as with anything in life, it's not all peaches and cream, is it? You have pros, you have cons. With compliments come gripes. And I have two gripes about the Day State Delta Wolf. And the first one is the name. Delta. Delta Wolf. No. This is an Alpha Wolf. If I named this gun, this would have been Alpha Wolf all day. This is the top of the heap. The cream of the crop. Up here, others here. This is an Alpha Wolf and I think it should be called that. Just my opinion. Now my second gripe is the price. This is not a cheap air gun. The black version, as of today, with the 23 inch barrel, will cost you $3,019. The bronze one will cost you $3,000 four hundred and nineteen dollars why it's so much of a price difference for the colors i'm not sure but it is significantly more expensive to get the bronze delta wolf than the black having said that a ferrari isn't cheap either is it but you want one don't you and rightfully so if it is within your means to acquire a Daystate Delta Wolf, I sincerely recommend you do so. You will not be disappointed. As I said earlier, this is but an introduction, a part one of the Daystate Delta Wolf review. Keep an eye out for part two. It's on the way. I thank you all for watching. And you guys, stay tuned. Stay safe. Ow! And happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.